half of California is considered mountain lion habitat. Justin Dellinger has covered a great deal of it. He's a senior environmental scientist with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, given the job of determining the size and health of California's mountain lion population. The impetus for the project was, uh, I guess, just a big question mark. You know, we had a faction of people or a group of people saying that uh, we've got too many mountain lions, a group of people saying we don't have enough. We had no data to say which way the, the things were going, the scales were tipping. So we set out to answer that question and help uh, address public concern. On this chilly morning in San Diego County in mountains well east of the city, Justin is checking a transmitter that was triggered the night before, sending signals to his phone that a mountain lion may have been here. When an animal pulls on that bait, it's gonna pull that magnet off. This thing will activate. It'll talk to this and that'll send me a, uh, an email or a text message. But the camera showed it was a fox, not a mountain lion that tugged at the bait. Justin would spend an hour rewiring the devices so the next time he gets a text, he'll be ready. He also applies a biological sample from a bobcat to a branch so breezes will spread that scent and discourage foxes from returning here. When a mountain lion starts making regular visits to the same bait, Justin knows to set a large trap or a snare. Sometimes dogs are used to chase a lion that eventually runs up a tree to escape. What we hope happens is uh, we come along, I'll dart the animal in the tree uh, so we have some drugs that will immobilize her, put her to sleep, and then, uh, you know, go up the tree, lower her to the ground, and then we can, you know, attach a radio collar, take samples that were, in, biological samples that we're interested in, and then uh, wake her up and, and let her go on her way. These are just some of the lions captured, collared, and then set free during this study that began in 2015. Now, whether checking bait and cameras or tracks on the ground. So yeah. there's the cleat, the toes. This is a front right foot. The goal is to learn as much as possible about California's mountain lion population. Not just how many, but their diet, their health and diseases, and the habitat they prefer. That population is thought to be between four and 6,000, and in some parts of the state that population is stable, in other parts isolated and possibly at risk. In order to have a viable, healthy population and to conserve and manage mountain lions, that we need to know more about them. Um, they're a fairly elusive species. Uh, they typically avoid humans. It just really makes sense to do the study. We need to do the study. We need to have um, good science backing up and guiding and informing our decision making as far as how we conserve and manage that species. The images and data collected out here are eventually processed here at the department's Wildlife Investigation Lab near Sacramento. One of Justin's partners on the project is Jamie Rudd, who analyzes any diseases found in the lions and how that's impacting the population. They're just such a charismatic, large animal that are very polarizing um, that we all have a respect and appreciation for. And in order to continue to ensure that we have those animals in the future, we need to make sure that we're identifying risks to those populations, which includes disease. Another goal of the mountain lion study is learning more on how to keep lions wild and away from humans. Every time a lion is photographed by a nighttime security camera wandering through a neighborhood, it's a reminder just how close they are. Mountain lions really don't, um, don't really care to be around us. They, they'd rather avoid us if they could. Um, you know, but you take California for instance, if we have more suitable lion habitat than any other state in the U.S. We also have more people than any other state in the U.S. So the opportunity for interaction there is really high. I would bet my paycheck that every day in this state, at least a dozen people get within 10 yards of a lion and never knew it. Once Justin finishes this part of the study east of San Diego, he moves to the last section of the state to be researched in the northwest corner of California, 2023 is when he expects this one-of-a-kind study to be completed. It can be tedious and you have to remind yourself that each day that you're out there sort of, you know, 
cutting through the brush and getting smacked in the face by a branch and all that. And uh, you got to be determined and just sometimes put your head down and, and push forward. It's a slow uphill walk.